Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Vasily Vanchuk and Vishwatananand that was played in Reggio Emilia in 1988. Where is Reggio Emilia? It is a town in Italy. In this game, Vasily Vanchuk had white pieces and he started with e4. Anand played e5. And after knight to f3 and knight to f6, we have a Russian defense or Petrov defense. Knight takes pawn, d6, knight to f3, knight takes on e4, d4, d5, bishop to d3 attacking knight, getting ready to castle, bishop to e7, Ivanchuk castled. Knight to c6, rook to e1, bishop to g4, pinning knight, c3, making room for queen to come out, f5, cementing knight on e4, queen to b3, getting out of the pin, and also queen is attacking pawn on b7, and you may expect something like rook to b8. But instead, Anand played queen to d6. He allowed Ivanchuk to capture pawn on b7. Knight from f to d2 was played. Let's go back. If queen takes on b7, then rook to b8, and after queen to a6, a castling kingside, and black has much better development. Okay, so in the game. Knight from f to d2 was played. Why not knight from b to d2? Well, the reason is that Ivanchuk wants to play f3 to fork bishop and knight. And you, you would expect something like knight takes on d2 now. But Anand castled f3 reasonable move is knight takes on d2 and then bishop takes and white is better okay in the game instead of taking knight bishop to h4 attacking rook rook to f1 and now perhaps logical move is knight takes on d2 it would be like a very sensible continuation. White is slightly better. Okay, let's go back in the game. Bishop to h3 was played. And now white has a choice. He can capture knight on e4 or he can capture bishop on h3. Hmm, instead. Ivanchuk played queen to c2. Let's go back. Why not to chop that knight? If pawn takes knight, then queen to g6 threatening checkmate. And if g3, this is just simple variation to show you what could have happened. Then bishop takes, pawn takes, check, and checkmate. Okay, let's go back. What else? If pawn takes bishop, then queen to g6 check, and after king to h1 check, rook takes, bishop takes, threat is checkmate on g1, queen to d1 defending, rook from h to e8 threatening a check, knight to e4 stopping that, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, Knight takes on d4, pawn takes, rook takes threatening, rook takes d3, and then queen takes checkmate. Okay, so that's why queen to c2 was played. Queen to g6, knight to b3, queen is defending now, pawn on g2, rook from h to f8, knight to a3. Uh, what about pawn takes knight? 
That's possible if pawn takes knight. Pawn takes pawn. And after rook takes rook takes black has much better position. Okay, let's go back. In the game, Ivanchuk developed his knight. Knight to a3 was played. Rook from d to e8. King to h1. Let's go back. Better move is bishop to f4. That's the best move. Not so bad is to take that pawn. Sorry, to take knight on e4. Instead, Ivanchuk played king to h1. Uh, but just show you this variation. Let's go back. If pawn takes knight, then pawn takes pawn. Rook takes, and after rook takes, black black pieces are all around white's king. Okay, that's why why I didn't go for that variation. Although this move pawn takes knight is better than what was played in the game. In the game, Ivanchuk played king to h1, getting out of the pin, but he missed something. We have reached critical position of the game. It is black to move and to play a killer move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that Anand played in this position. Are you ready? Anand played knight to f2 check. If king goes to g1, then queen takes on g2 checkmate. So Ivanchuk captured knight. Now bishop takes on g2 check. And in this position, Ivanchuk resigned. Why did he resign? If rook takes on g2, then rook to e1 check. Bishop to f1, rook takes, rook to g1, rook takes on g1 checkmate. What else? It's possible to play king to g1 and then rook to e1 check, bishop to f1, rook takes bishop, rook takes rook, bishop takes on f3 and the only way to prolong the game is to play this funny variation. So Ivanchuk wasn't interested in all that. So in this position, he resigned. Hmm. What do you think of this game? Was that brilliant attack or not? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.